Good morning, afternoon, or evening, everyone. My name is Jeremy Walsh, and I'm the Director of Support, Training, and Documentation for BNI Connect. I'd like to welcome everybody to the webinar today. Uh, today's webinar starts our five-part series of member webinars that we put together to walk you through a lot of the different functionality that's in BNI Connect and kind of show you the ins and outs and how it all works. Now, we try to keep it really short to nice little 30-minute segments uh, so you don't get overwhelmed with too much information, and you can go right back and start implementing some of the things that you learn right away. Today's presentation is we're going to be talking about the member profile. I'm going to start you off with a little bit of the power of Connect and just give you a little bit of a peek behind the scenes, uh, under the hood, if you will. And then we're going to go right into how do we fill out our profile so that we're putting the best foot forward when people find us out there on the internet or in BNI Connect. We're going to follow that up with four more webinars over the course of the next week or so. Uh, Tomorrow, we're going to be talking about giving and tracking referrals. Then on Thursday, we're going to talk about the social side of BNI Connect. How do we connect with other members around the world? On Friday, we're going to talk about the mobile app. And then next Monday, we're going to talk about tools and reports. And finally, we're going to round it out with inviting and registering visitors. Next going to be next Tuesday. Uh, they're all at this same time frame. So if you'd like to join us for any of the additional webinars, we invite you to do that as well. A couple of housekeeping things before we get started. First of all, this is a live webinar, at least if you're here with me, uh, today on May 9th, 2017. That means that you can ask questions as we're going through the material today. So uh, as you're going through, just ask away any question you want to about BNI Connect. I am happy to answer. That's what I'm here for. These webinars are also being recorded. Uh, uh, Dot, I just saw your uh, question come through. So, yes, they are being recorded. They will be made available on the support site and also on our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash BNI Connect Global. So you're welcome to check us out there as well. Uh, it usually takes me a couple of days to get them uploaded. Um, you know, usually, hopefully by the end of the week, I'll have them uploaded to the support site. Uh, so you'll be able to find them there. All right, so let's, let's just go ahead and get started with today's stuff. Now, before we jump into the actual functionality in BNI Connect, again, I wanted to give you guys just a little peek under the hood. Um, now, by the way, uh, just so you guys know, I am also a BNI member. Uh, I've been a member of BNI since 2002, and I'm still a member. Uh, my meetings are on Thursday mornings. I'm a member of the BNI Wakefield chapter here in the great state of Rhode Island. So not only uh, do I you know, teach and support BNI Connect, but I also use it on a daily basis. So let's take a look. BNI Connect, it is a huge piece of software. Um, it is you know, we're available in 72 countries for 1,000 regions and 7,500 chapters around the world. Now, we're performing three main functions for BNI through this software. The first part is we're kind of the accounting department for you know, this global organization. So we're keeping track of all the memberships and when people joined and how long they've been a member and how many referrals they've passed and how many trainings they've taken and all the events and all that other stuff. That is all done in BNI Connect. And if you think about it, that is a mountain of data. There are 7,500 vice presidents that are inputting the weekly POMS reports for their chapters every single week. Just a ton of stuff here in BNI Connect. The second part of it is that we produce websites for all of the regions and all of the chapters out there and even all of the countries. So, for example, um, if you're here from the United States, you have a profile actually out there on the Internet in three distinct places. And what we're going to talk about today is updating, updating that profile so that it looks good in all of these places. You're available on BNIAmerica.com. You're also available on your regional website. In my case, I'm a member in Rhode Island, so that's BNIRI.com for Rhode Island. But your state, your region is going to be slightly different. It's also available on your chapter website. And the great thing is, is Google loves these websites. So this helps to increase your Google search rankings as well. The final thing we do is we do have a kind of a social media platform that's only for us BNI members. But you have access to the profiles within BNI Connect once you log into the system. You have access to all of those member profiles 
210,000 members around the world. I know it says 205 there, but this is a slightly older number. We're up over 210,000 members. That is a great, huge network to be a part of. We also have discussion groups. I'll talk about that more in the social media, uh, the Connecting with Other Members webinar that we're going to be doing in a couple of days. But just uh, it's just some scale of the technology. It is one online application. Uh, there's about 950 pages there in BNI Connect. We've got about 120 reports. One of the things that makes it so complicated is that we have to translate every single thing in the system to 47 languages. And I can tell you there's 14,753 fields in BNI Connect that have to be translated. There's just a ton of stuff. And every time we add a new function or feature, there's even more. We use about a dozen programming languages, and there's over a million lines of code. And the thing that really makes BNI Connect so exciting to me is that it really brings this global network together. You know, as I said, I am a BNI member. You know, and when I joined BNI back in 2002, you know, my entire BNI network was my chapter. That's it. That was my entire BNI network because, you know, we didn't have an online system back then. It was just we didn't have a website back then. It was just, you know, the people I met with on a weekly basis. That's it, right? About six months into my membership, I was kind of voluntold I would be the vice president. So I stepped up and I decided to become vice president. And I went to a regional training and that was an eye opener. You know, I got to meet you know, about 100 other BNI members that were there in my area. It was awesome. I was networking. I got to meet people. The problem was is if I didn't get their business card, I couldn't get back in touch with them, right? Again, we didn't have a BNI Connect back then. We didn't even have a website. So the only way we could really get in touch with other people is to remember their name or get their business card. When I became a director consultant a couple of years later, I went to an international conference and met hundreds and hundreds of BNI directors around the world, and I had the same problem. It was really hard to get back in touch with people if you didn't collect a business card. Now, I can log into BNI Connect and look up any BNI member around the world. Now, the most important part of this is that if people are going to find you in the system, you got to look good, right? Because you know, if they just come across a blank profile, there's no way that they're going to you know, give you a call or they're going to be able to you know, get in touch with you. So let's take a look at how this works. Now, I'm going to close out of this uh, PowerPoint. Let's go into BNI Connect here and actually take a look at how this works. So of course, you need to log into BNIConnect.com. This is the full website experience. And this is where we're going to be going through how to update our profile here. Now, I just want to give you a couple of uh, ideas of you know, why are we updating this profile. So up here, if I, in the right-hand side, there's this regional website button. If I click this, this will take me to my regional, the public website. Now, this is a website that anybody in the world can get to. And on here, if I was to go to, let's say, find a member, and I did a search for myself, or I did a search for my category or something like that, this is going to bring up my profile. Now, this profile is the exact same profile that we fill out that we're going to be filling out in BNI Connect in just a few minutes. But you can see that it has my name, it has my company logo, a picture, it's got the, you know, my address and my contact information and all my social media links and you know, a little bit of information about me and my business. I even put a video in my profile. Right now, as I said, if you're on the call here from the United States, you'll also be on BNIAmerica.com. Again, this is another public website, BNIAmerica.com. 100% public. And, of course, you can go to, uh, I'm going to go over here and do find a member. And let's take a look and find myself again. Now, this is searching the 85,000 or so members here in the United States. Finds my profile, and guess what? It's the same profile. So now it's up here as well. So those are a couple of different public places that, that they're being found. And again, that's being searched and indexed by Google and Yahoo and Bing and all those search engines as well. If I close out of that, though, this is within BNI Connect. So this is the logged in portion of BNI Connect. Now, I can do a search here and use this magnifying glass. I'll get into this a little bit more in a couple of days. But if I search for myself here, 
This is going to search the 210,000 members around the world in the BNI Global Directory. Now, there's a couple of different Jeremy Walshes here. This Jeremy Walsh III, this is just a uh, test profile that I have in the system. But if you haven't filled out your profile, if you're here for the first time today, you've never logged into BNI Connect, this is what you look like to everybody else in the world when they come across your profile, right? It's, it's just not much there. You know, it's not even sharing phone numbers or contact information. Uh, there's nothing filled out for the bio. There's no you know, connections or you know, testimonials yet. All of this stuff we need to get into our profiles in order to have other people view us. However, if I clicked on my regular profile, again, here we have a lot more information that we're sharing with other members. Again, it has all my roles. Now, in BNI Connect here, we're sharing a little bit more than we share on the public side. So all the different phone numbers and, again, the contact information. It still has the video listed here. But it also shares things like my weekly presentations. It's also sharing my games profile and my tops profile my connections and my testimonials that people have left for me. There's even a little photo library. And of course, the groups that we're participating in and the training history. So all this is now shared on the inside of BNI Connect. So how do we get all of this updated? So the best thing to do is let's go back to our home page here. I'm going to click this home button in the upper left hand corner. And right from the home page here, you should see a thing that says Update Profile My BNI Page. Update Profile My BNI Page. You can also go to Options and go to My Account. Either way, it's going to take us to the exact same place, and that is kind of the back end of our profile. Now, the Reader's Digest version of this, all you really need to do here is go through each one of these tabs. And where you see something missing, you see an empty field, put something in there. All right, so that, that is the absolute Reader's Digest bare minimum version of today's training. But what I'd like to do is to kind of go through and show you a couple of tips and tricks and hints and things like that uh, to, to make the most out of your profile. All right, as I said, you'll see that they're broken into different tabs here along the top, and there's different bits of information on each of these different tabs. So let's take a look at this first tab here, which is the main profile tab. This is going to have your, your basic information. Now, a lot of the information here you can't change, like your name and your company name and, thing, and your chapter and your industry and your classification. Uh, the reason for that is you know, those all have to match what's on the you know, the, the paper application that you turned in when you became a member. You know, just, uh, you know, again, that's essentially a kind of a contract, if you will, between you and your chapter. So we can't go and you can't just decide one day, yeah, I'm going to be an underwater basket weaver and just go in and change your category. That has to go through the process with your membership committee. So that's why these things, you can request a change usually uh, from your regional office, but generally speaking, they can't be directly edited. Really, the things that we're going to change are these two things at the bottom. By the way, um, a lot of people ask, what's this registered tax office and VAT reference number? In the United States, you can leave those blank, right? Other places, uh, you know, depending on where you might live, I know, for example, you know, Australia and parts of Europe and I believe Canada as well, you may have to put in your registered tax office and or your VAT reference number um, because they need to keep track of that as part of your profile. Uh, VAT, by the way, for those of you that may not know, it stands for Value Added Tax. That's essentially the sales tax structure in um, the UK and other European countries. Again, but we, we really want to look at these two things at the bottom. We have my business and we have the keywords. And these are probably two of the most important things that you can fill out on your profile. So the first thing here is my business. I always think of this as kind of the, uh, I guess, the elevator pitch, if you will. Uh, let, let's say that you're at your chapter meeting, right? Or even you're at a uh, networking event, maybe with the Chamber of Commerce. And you go up and you introduce yourself to somebody new. And they say, hey, what is it that you do? This is kind of that, you know, that 30-second explanation of what your business is. 
right? We definitely, we don't want to, to, to throw up a wall of text here. You know, I don't think anybody's going to read a, you know, a short novel on your business. They're going to get through the first couple of sentences and then probably, you know, click away from the page. So you want to make it succinct enough that it explains things, you know, I'd say a couple of sentences to a paragraph. Now, the other thing that you can do here, though, is that you can put in a video. And that's something that many, many people are taking advantage of here in order to, you know, take advantage of the, of the visual aspects of the internet nowadays. Um, more and more people are watching or listening to a video versus reading the text that's on the screen. Now for this one, all you really need to do is to, to, to grab a YouTube or you can even grab a Facebook video and you just pop it, you copy it and paste it in here. But what you need is what's called the iframe code. Now it's very easy to get. All you have to do is first take a video and then go ahead and upload it to YouTube or to Facebook or you know something like that. I'm gonna go to our um, YouTube site for BNI Connect and I'm just gonna grab any video here. Let's say this one from Dr. Meisner. And if I click on the video itself and go into the go into the video, I'm just, you know what, I'm gonna choose this other one here. If I go to the video page, you'll see this share button. Now you don't want this, this is just a hyperlink. What you want is this second one, it's called embed. And you'll see that it starts with iframe. All you really need to do is to copy this, control C, and paste it into your profile. That's it. That's all there is to it. Now, you do have to have a little bit of text in there just to introduce it. Otherwise, it's going to think that you're trying to put like a virus in the system or something. But you can just copy and paste that iframe code in there, and a video will display on your profile. Now, the second here thing here is the keywords. Now, the keywords are really, really important because that's how people find you when they don't know your name. Right now, when I searched for myself before, you know, I know my name and I was specifically looking for my profile. That's all well and good. You can search for people by name, but most of the time, you know, if I'm looking for you know, my aunt who lives in Pittsburgh, her, her pipes just burst and she's looking for a recommendation to a plumber, I can go in and search for a plumber in Pittsburgh or I can search for a you know, web designer in Wichita or I can, you know, whatever it is that you want to search for, most of the time you're searching by a category and possibly a place. So that's really what you want to put in your keywords here. You want to make sure that you're putting in you know, different words to represent your profession. Now, keep in mind, you know, one thing that Google and Bing and Yahoo, all those big guys are really good at is guessing what you're looking for before you even know what you're looking for, right? And that's because, you know, people pay to be on the top of those lists. That said, in BNI Connect, uh, you know, we, we're doing more of a, you know, an old school database search. Now, we have some al algorithms in there, but we definitely don't have the billion dollar search engine ag algorithm. So the thing to keep in mind is that this is very, you know, it's very word driven. So for example, if you are a bookkeeper and it says that your classification is bookkeeping, of course, it's going to find you if somebody does a search for bookkeeping, but bookkeeper is a different word. So you might want to make sure that you have bookkeeper in your keywords as well. The other thing that you can put in there is locations, you know, so it's going to search for all the things that are on your profile, you know, such as your, your, your address and your business address. However, you may do business in other cities or towns or even states. You know, for example, Rhode Island, it's really, really small. That means that most of us here in Rhode Island will do business in Connecticut and Massachusetts. So I put in the abbreviations for Massachusetts and Connecticut. That way I'm found for searches for my services there as well. All right, now if you update anything here, make sure you click this update button at the bottom. Now updates are immediate. They are absolutely 100% immediate. So just to show you what I mean here, um, if I uh, go ahead and, for example, I'm going to uh, take out all of the information from the My Business. And if I go and update this, right now, if I go back to that public website, so if I go back to, let's say, bniamerica.com, 
and I do a search for myself now, Jeremy Walsh, and I pull up my profile, you'll notice that my, my business description in that video is immediately removed, right? It's gone, not showing up there anymore. You don't have to wait for any kind of cycle. You don't have to publish anything. It is all done automatically as soon as you save. So if I go back, and I'm going to put this back in now and re-update it. As soon as I go in and refresh this, boom, it's back again. All right, so again, this is immediate. You don't have to call your office and have them publish it or anything. This happens, you know, again, immediately. So let's go ahead and now take a look at the second tab here. The second tab is your user profile, and this is things like your username, your password. You can change those anytime you want to. It can be your email address. It doesn't have to be your email address. It can be whatever you want it to be. Um, and then also the question and answer. The question and answer are, if you forget your password, it's going to ask you your question that you can, you can make that question anything you want it to be, and it will ask you for your answer. If you can successfully answer your own question, it will let you basically reset and type in a new password. So make it a good question. Kindly keep in mind that your answer is case sensitive. So uh, you know, make sure you have the right mixture of uppercase and lowercase that you'll remember how to answer that question. Of course, you can choose what language you would like BNI Connect displayed in, and make sure your time zone is correct, which it should be by default. Now, you can also upload a new profile image or a company logo. That is possibly the you know, second or third most important thing you can do on your profile is to make sure that you have a good profile image up there. Again, people do business with people that they can relate to. So if I go in, I can you know, go in and uh, choose a new profile picture, for example. This is actually just a selfie I took from the, uh, the BNI Connect app when I was doing a training a couple of days ago, but I can go in and grab a new one. Let me go in and uh, let's say take this headshot here. I can crop this if I want to. Save it. And now my profile picture has been updated. And uh, Jonathan, thank you for recognizing the Monty Python humor there. So well done, Jonathan. You get a uh, gold star. If I could put a gold star on your profile, I would. All right, uh, make sure that you have a profile picture and a logo up there. All right, the next tab is all of your contact details. You can update all of this stuff on the page. Now, the most important thing on here, the very top thing, it says, show me on BNI public websites. If checked, the public will be able to search for you. So if I uncheck this, again, this change is immediate if I click update. All right, so if I uncheck this and I go back to my regional website, for example, and I do a search for myself, it is not going to find me because I have opted out. I am no longer found, right? Because I have unchecked this, right? So even if I go to my chapter, I'm in the Wakefield chapter. I go to Wakefield and I see the roster here. The other Jeremy, Jeremy von Flatern in my chapter is being listed, but I'm not. If I go back, I'm gonna go back and recheck this, choose update, and if I refresh this now, I am appearing. Again, these changes are immediate. So make sure that if you want to be found in the public that you are checked off here. Your phone number, your direct number, home number, mobile number, pager, voicemail, toll-free, all the different phone numbers you can think of you can put in here. And you can choose which of those will show on the website as well. You can put in up to uh, 14 different social media links or websites in here. Uh, you can basically you choose the number based on the order you'd like them to appear in. And all you need to do is to, for example, choose add. I'm going to choose a link number two, which will appear second in the list. Go to the, the, the social media site that you want to and just copy and paste. And you can put your uh, link in there. You can also put in your, you edit your addresses down here. You can have a 
a regular address and a billing address. Um, if you find that you, you have a home-based business or something, you don't want people showing up at your house, just take out the address and put in by appointment only or something like that. You do want to make sure your billing address has your, you know, the, the address that your office can get in touch with you with in case they need to mail you something. All right, so that's pretty much it for that contact details page. The next tab is the settings. Now, this one is your settings for all of the stuff on the public site. This is your member-to-member -member uh, settings. In other words, when they find you using the magnifying glass, what information would you like to share with other members of BNI? Right, again, this, this tab is what you're sharing with the general public. This tab is what you're sharing with other members. So you can choose whether or not you want to share things like your bio tab, the connections tab, the my testimonials tab, the my pictures, and your email address and contact details. You can choose whether you show those to everybody. So as soon as they find you in BNI Connect, they'd be able to see that information. Whether you want to only share it with people once you've connected with them, in other words, they send you a connection request and then you accept it, then you start sharing it. Or would you like to share that with nobody ever? Now, my personal opinion, at the very least, you want to make sure that your contact details are shared with everyone. And the reason for that is very few people are going to wait until you accept their connection request before they want to give you a call to do some business with you. Right? You want to make sure that you choose, in, in my opinion, uh, share that contact details with everybody so they can give you a call right away if they need your services. So the rest of this has to do with some, uh, you know, really the social media notifications. You know, when would you like to be, if you start participating in the groups, when would you like to be notified about those? For your connection requests and testimonials and things like that, you can choose to send those notifications to an alternate address if you'd like to. And you can choose whether or not you even want to receive those as emails. I personally, you know, if you're not going to be logged in to BNI Connect 24-7, 365, you probably want to set these to yes. All right, now the last part of this is going to be the bio tab. Now, this one is, is, is the one part of this that probably is going to take a little while. Right, this is going to take you, you know, probably you know, 20 minutes, a half hour to fill out all of the details on this page. The nice thing is you only have to fill it out once, kind of a set it and forget it type of thing. So the bio, uh, this is, by the way, the same bio that your secretary treasurer will ask for um, before you do your first feature presentation or 10-minute presentation at your chapter. So if you fill it out here, you don't have to fill it out on the piece of paper. You can actually just provide them with this one. It's going to be you know, years in business, spouse, children, pets, burning desire, something so nobody else knows about you that you're comfortable sharing. Um, you know, some basic information there. Now, the next couple of things, you have your weekly presentations. Now, the weekly presentations, um, you know, the reason that we have these here is that, you know, Again, your profile is available to a whole lot of people here in BNI Connect. About 210,000 members. Now, I can guarantee that probably 209,950 of them will never visit your BNI chapter. That said, you can share your ask with other people that come across your profile by putting in a weekly presentation. It's also good that, you know, if you ever have to call a sub at the last minute, your sub is you know, always going to ask you to please provide them with a, you know, what can they say at the chapter meeting. If you have these in here, you can always turn to them and do a quick copy and paste into an email and be able to send them uh, what you'd like to talk about. All right, the gains profile. If you haven't been to member success program yet, the gains profile, uh, what this is used for is to learn more information about our fellow members. And it stands for goals, accomplishments, interests, networks, and skills. And we have a technique in BNI here where before we sit down to a one-to-one -one meeting, we actually exchange these BNI profiles with each other so that we can automatically start off with a deeper conversation than just talking about the weather and you know who won the latest sports match. Not that those things aren't important, but this will help to drive the conversation a little bit faster. 
And finally, we have the tops profile. What are the things that I'm best at or what are the best things that I'm looking for? We have the uh, ideal referral products, problem, favorite story, and ideal referral partner. So if you have limited time, I recommend doing the tops profile first because that one also appears on the public websites. That one appears on the chapter site, the region site, and the country site. So the other ones, the, the presentations and the, uh, the gains profile, those stay only to other members in BNI Connect. So if you only have a few minutes, fill out the TOPS profile first. Now, if you're a director, there is a director profile that is listed on the contact page of the regional website. And the training history, uh, that, that's nothing that you can do yourself. You'll be automatically marked. Uh, and th those will show up as you attend regional trainings, and they mark you as having attended. And that, my friends, if you want to check it out, you can, after you've done that, you can always search for yourself or just click this profile link all the way at the bottom of the page, and this will take you over to the view portion of your profile. So with that, we are at the bottom of the hour. Now, I like to be respectful of everybody's time and make sure that, you know, you guys can get back onto your busy days. I greatly appreciate you taking some time out of your day in order to learn more about how BNI Connect can help you in your business. That said, I am happy to stay on this call. If you have any questions, please enter your questions now. The only silly question is the unasked question. Now, even though some people might have to leave right away, I am happy to stay on this call until every single question has been answered. So if you have any questions, please ask. Start typing those in now. While you're thinking of any last-minute questions, just a reminder, this is being uh, recorded. So if you'd like to review it later, here's how to, to find it later. So to find it later, what you need to do is to see this question mark in the upper right-hand corner? Click that question mark. That will take you over to the support site. And in the support site, we have some great things. We have a BNI Resource Center. There's tons of links and downloads and all that other stuff. We also have live and recorded webinars. And here you'll find all of the monthly recordings as well as our upcoming list. Now, a good referral for me is please, please let other people know about these webinars. If there's other people in your chapter that you know could use some of this information, let them know about these webinars and forward them the uh, registration link. That would be an awesome referral for me. So we do have a couple of questions here coming up. So we have one from Charlene. She says, how long should the video be and what format? So as far as the video goes, that is completely up to you. Now, I would say it should probably be one to three minutes. Now, it doesn't have to be professionally done. It could even be just you, you know, somebody holding up a, a, a cell phone and taking a video you know, for 60 seconds or three minutes or four minutes. I mean, it could be, you know, a 30-minute promotional video. I don't think anybody's going to sit there and watch it to the end. But, you know, again, that, that, that's up to you. Um, my preference, my, my recommendation would be to keep it short and sweet. As far as the format goes, the, the, the format is, is somewhat irrelevant. It, it all depends where you want to share that you know, we're not going to host your video. So you're not actually uploading your video to BNI Connect. You do have to put it onto some type of a hosting site. So that could be Vimeo, it could be YouTube, and it can even be Facebook. Most people are very familiar with uploading a video to Facebook. And any video that you have, you can get what's called the embed code. So let me show you that in Facebook real quick. I'm just going to go to my own uh, uh, Facebook account here. And let me just get logged in. And so if you go to your own Facebook, click on your name. So you go to your profile and go to more and then videos. So any of the videos that you have on your profile. So don't click play. Click this little edit button. And this will give you an embed code. And again, all you have to do is copy this. You don't, you don't need to have the full you, know, you don't need to, to do anything to it, right? All you have to do is right-click it, copy it, and put it into your uh, the My Business, right? So, again, we're not going to host your videos, but you can embed a link to the video. All right. And, yep, yes, you can use your iPhone to make one as well. All right, Charlene, I think that got all your questions there. Uh, Willa has a question. She says, uh, 
where is the link for doing the initial MSP training on the website? There's, so there's a couple of different ways you can get there, Willa. So the uh, one way to, to find all your local trainings is if I'm back on the home page, so click on the home button. If you click on the my network, so right here, right below it says my business. This is kind of like a little flag. It'll move down to my network. So you click on my network. And in here, you'll see a thing that says events. Events, if I click more, this will list all of the trainings that are available to me that are in my area. Right? So once you find the, the training that you'd like to go to, so let's say this member success program, and you could register for that member success program. Right? The other thing that you can do is if you click this regional website button in the upper right-hand corner, on the events calendar, this will list them more in a, uh, you know, a calendar format as opposed to a list. But here I could, for example, grab a member success program, and I always recommend doing registration for members. Okay, registration for members. All right, Willa, does that help? All right, Dot says, uh, this was great. I'll be putting the link and the list of upcoming webinars in my weekly email that's going out to my chapter today. Oh, Dot, thank you so much. That is a, that is a perfect referral for me. Uh, kindly note that on your regional calendar, they're also all listed here. So, for example, tomorrow's giving and tracking referrals. This is listed up here as well. Um, and the registration link is in there. Um, of course, uh, if you go and get the, you can get that whole list right off of the support site. So uh, thank you so much, Dot. I, I greatly appreciate you doing that. Uh, Erica says, this was very useful. Thank you. No, th again, thank you guys. Uh, you know, this is what I do all day, every day. I teach BNI Connect. I answer questions about BNI Connect. But I greatly appreciate you taking time out of your day uh, in order to learn more about this. And again, if there's anything I can do to help or to support you after the fact, please do feel free to contact me. Uh, the best way to do that is through the support site. And you can always click on submit a request. So uh, here's a couple of uh, bits of contact information here for you. Uh, let me uh, pull that up on the screen. Uh, let me get the uh, contact information up here. You can always find us at support, bniconnect.com, YouTube, our Facebook channel. And, of course, you can get me at support at bniconnect.com. Uh, Kimberly also says, great information. And thanks again, Kim, for being here. All right, do we have any other questions at all? Um, if not, I look forward to seeing some of you guys tomorrow um, on our webinar on giving and tracking referrals. Again, we'll follow that up on Thursday with connecting with other members. And on Friday, we have a special webinar to go through the brand new mobile app that was just released a couple of weeks ago. So you can find all those, again, on the website. All right, I'm not seeing any additional questions, so I'm going to say thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you on a future webinar. Happy connecting.